and it's a beautiful tree. Look at it. Just see. Look at its bark. It's a lovely silvery bark. And look, the tree is so elegant and straight. In fact, it's the lady. In Irish, way back in times of the Celts, way back in the times of the Druids, this was known as Finn Van Nacullah. And it means fair woman of the forest. She is the lady of the forest. And you know what she symbolizes? Motherhood. And look, she's pure. She's lovely and white and pure. That's another of her symbols. She's a symbol of birth as well. So she's a real mother. And she's a protector, as this story will tell. All right. So one time, this man was going through the forest, walking on his journey. And he was a foolish man because he should have brought his staff of protection. This one here, can I borrow it? It is the hazel staff. And he, when he was attacked, he should have drawn his circle like this and called upon the spirit of the hazel to protect him. But he did not have his staff to protect him. So suddenly during the night, he was traveling through the woods when he heard the galloping hooves of a horse. And right away, he knew he had made a big mistake. He was in trouble because this was approaching him. This sound was getting closer, getting louder. And then he saw it through the gloom, a dark shadow of a horse, a black horse. And on top of it, a black cloaked, cloaked phantom. He knew who it was. It was Headless Hugh, the phantom. And he had heard stories about Headless Hugh and how he had taken many travellers who were not paying attention and took them away down to hell. And he thought, oh, this is going to happen to me too. What will I do? How am I going to be saved? What's going to protect me? I have no protection. And then he turned and he saw Finn Van Nicola, the silver birch tree, the mother of the woods, and he rushed to the mother of the wood and he grabbed hold of his mother and he held on tight. Headless Hugh approached and his horses raised their hooves like this, trying to grab him and pull him off. But he held on tight. Protect me, mother. Mother, protect me. All through the night until the dawn, Headless Hugh tried to make the man run. Go to try and get away. But no, he did not let go. He held on. He held on until the dawn broke. And at the moment of dawn breaking, Headless Hugh just simply evaporated in a puff of black, ugly smoke. He disappeared. And the traveller sighed with relief. <coughs> and he turned and he looked at his mother and he said, Thank you, mother, for protecting me from headless hue. And the end, he went on his journey. Lucky man, wasn't he? That he had, what do you call her? What do you call her? The Lady of the Woods, or in Irish, Gaelic, Finn Van Nachala, the Silver Birch Mother. That's the story.